So this is our MTS3 iBreaker demo box. Here you see how it functions. Okay. So now it's already connected through the Wi-Fi and the get cloud service directly from the internet. It's not a direct uh, connection. So you, you, when it switch on, you always get feedback. Green will change to red, but sometimes a little delay because of the cloud service. All right. So in this demo box, we have this uh, power supply SPD uh, because. This is 12 volts DC output to power supply these breakers to do the metering, protection, and all these functions. And this is a single pole RCBO 63 amps, two of 20 amps single phase metering breakers, one communication module, Wi Fi hotspot, and all of this. So, uh, all these other components like this panel meter, these buttons, uh, relays, they are all uh, for the, to show how our metering breaker functions. Now let's see. So in each line, this is the general. General means this single pole RCBO, and we can read the whole leakage value, temperature, current, voltage, power, each of them. And uh, if we choose this line one, we can do the same. You can read all these important electrical power data, and uh, the same as line two. This is line two, and uh, you can control each of them uh, simply as well. You also get the feedback and switch on. All right, so uh, so in this demo, we we can make this kind of uh, demonstration. Now let's do this eye timer. I timer because it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so uh, let's do it. Uh, set up this time in advance. Okay, we firstly choose which breakers you want to do this operation, and choose once or daily. Let's choose once. All right, and then the time. So time, year, month, date, hour, and uh, let's take like five minutes, okay? Yes. So what we want them to do, switch off all of them. So now saves. So we are going to generate a, a task, timer task. Now, okay, the time when it will switch off. Now it's 50 to another four minutes later, it will switch off altogether. Now, let's see this one. Let's do this over voltage, 300 volts. Okay, it will trip right away very fast. Here you see the voltage, and it will show a push a push message. Here it it comes the time, August seventeen, and uh, which lamp the general, and uh, what is the problem? It is over voltage alarm. Okay, so you can also when it is the power recovers, you can switch it back. All right, so this is a over voltage protection, and uh, we can also do. Overload now it's uh, 69 uh, current. This current, ah, okay, it is this one. Okay, so this one, uh, let's do it again. Switch off, ah, it shows uh, LAN 1 at uh, the time and uh, the power alarm. Okay, let's see, show, show it again. So, when this one is 61, here you also get the data. Uh, Okay, so here you see 0 0.64 amps, and you show the problem, you get alarm, always the same. Yeah, yeah, it will also show the status of these breakers, and then let's switch on it again, the, the, the same. Now let's do this arc fault, okay, let's do this arc fault. So here, here we have this arc. And, uh, Overload. Switch back. Okay, so here it's switched off because of this uh, sparks alarm. The time lines, which which of it? Okay, the same. Let's, you can you can remotely switch on or you can uh, manually switch on. Both are fun. And uh, so this is a leakage data. For example, you can uh, now it's the leakage value is zero milliamps. Zero milliamps. Now let's give it. 15 milliamps, and then you will see here it will be calm. Okay, it will read. Ah, not not so accurate. Ah, uh, no, no, now it's okay. 15 milliamps, very accurate. 15 milliamps, 15 milliamps, 15 milliamps. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of time delay because of the cloud service. Now plus another three, it will be 18. Okay, so this one will also increase. Oh, okay. Uh, and let's. Uh, 
and another one it will trip right away okay it will trip right away and you will see okay so you know the time you know uh, this general line and the leakage value always the same okay so this is a uh, very simple uh, now let's uh, wait uh, because we set up this timer uh, okay so we take a few uh, let's switch on all these breakers uh, ah so when when we manually switch on here switch is closed please manually when it is manually switch on you cannot remotely switch off you have to manually switch on and then you are able to switch off okay you will got, get feedback okay now you are able to switch off and then you are ab also able to switch on again only when it is uh, if it is if it is manually switch off you, you cannot switch on remotely for the safety protection so now the timer is it will another one minute it will arrive so I'm going to introduce this one further so this is the control you have just uh, uh, understand this is the limit you, you can limit the power whatever power you want to limit for example this one is 63 amps you can, oh no so it's switched off right away no it's uh, 356 so they are all switched off because of the timer functions so let's continue to this okay so here you can limit the power from 63 amps to 26 whatever okay and uh, each of them you can do and uh, here this is timer you just already saw it and uh, you can do multiple lines okay you choose whatever you want it to do this is i report i report uh, let me show you an i report uh, okay let's let's change to this one Matty's office here you will see a real data okay so this is the one we installed at our office here you see uh, okay how much it is running uh, electrical consumptions of the last two months uh, green is uh, this month orange is last month you will see line one line two line three uh, how much power it goes and this is electric total electric analysis of this month general is uh, 100 uh, so line we, we have totally very clearly and uh, it is running as well so you, we can also read this data now we have an air, air condition so it's 1300 all this data very exactly power is 1370 and this line is uh, 136 watts 0 0.8 amps this is six totally uh, six amps in total okay so each of them it is running now so uh, and uh, the, the same as this one so here you will see the 24 hours electricity year month date all of them all right so you will see and this is the year, month, and the date. How many kilowatt hours it runs? For example, today is uh, uh, 17, so we can only see the yesterday. 16, we use the 18, 18 kilowatt hours. All right. So this is uh, the meters, and this is the master. We can choose all this. Ah, oh, sorry. We need to change back to this demo box. This demo box it ends with the B60. So this is the one B6. It is online now. So, so this is the masters. You can control switch on, switch off all together. Switch off all together, and then uh, you get you get a feedback from the orange to green. Okay, now it's feedback. Switch on again. Just a little bit of time delay because of the cloud service. All right. So this is alarm. So whatever we just did here, you will see. So today is uh, Saturday, August seventeen. Uh, you know all this each line what is the problem and uh, what time it happens all of them you can delete it what uh, whatever you want okay so you can manage these alarm locks so any problems happened in the history you get uh, or you can see very clearly in the alarm lock so this is eye leakage test this is also very interesting uh, functions that uh, in the traditional circuit breaker this uh, single uh, this RCBO you always have to push this test button okay you have to push test button every month uh, because this is called uh, okay so test button is for the earth leakage you must test the monthly finish earth leakage detection is successful let's try it again press this one 
test. Okay, so this is a traditional way to do this uh, uh, earth leakage test. However, it requires for the test monthly. However, nobody really do this one uh, in the real application because it's impossible for the electrician to go all this uh, RCBO installation site to do it every month. That is a huge job for this uh, uh, RCBO. But this is a, 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 a but, but this is always required for this traditional and. Uh, but always no, nobody really do it. So, uh, because the traditional RCBO is impossible to achieve this function, uh, for our solutions, here you will see how we can do it. Uh, you can do it manually test. Let's do it manually test. Let's do it start using local net. Okay, so this one you need a hotspot connection. So let's finish this one, manual test. Let's do it, schedule test. Schedule test will activate continuous. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's choose the date. For example, every uh, first date, every first day, and uh, time. Okay, let's choose today. Uh, today is uh, August 6, 16, 17. Okay, 17 saves. 17 saves, and the time will be 16. And the time is now is uh, one minute. Let's choose to two minutes. Okay, six. Uh, it's better to choose it uh, in two two minutes uh, earlier because uh, it will uh, we after we set up this uh, command, it will go through the cloud to do the this configuration on our device in this communication module. So. Anyway, let's let's wait for a while. Power will be switched off for 10 seconds during this test procedures. Please select the options below. All right. So, uh, 17 of each month, and this is the test time. So this will be a perfect solution for this uh, earth leakage uh, test. Okay. So let's wait for a while. And uh, let's see the others. Uh, this is the cameras. Cameras you can integrate with the other uh, cameras. You can hack visions and uh, okay, so it switched off. So this is automatically uh, okay. Switch on again. So let's see it again here. Okay, and uh, you also get this alarm. Uh, Earth leakage test uh, successfully. And you get this uh, push message as well. Just uh, wait for a while. It will comes out. So this is a perfect solution. To do this earth leakage, uh, I home appliance the same. So this alarm here. Okay. So thank you.